not just to know the character, but also when you start to understand the characters, you can truly appreciate the Chinese language as well as Chinese culture. I really like Chinese art. The rich history, the rich culture. And the art that I love most is uh, writing the characters. I feel like that art is very special. You spend a lot of time just in a quiet place and it relaxes you even if you're stressed. Learning Chinese is actually a hobby for me. You have to know how to write the characters. Asi,我是在有的汉语学生。我叫李苏,我中文名字是李莎,我在北外学汉语。我叫Toby,我学习汉语在北京语言大学。我叫北拉,我在北京学习汉语。我叫Sia,但是我中文的名字是赛普,我
你先可以吗？可以可以。Today was a very productive day. I was able to learn how to speak in Chinese and how to also buy and bargain in Chinese. I learned how to ask, which means what is this and how do you call it or what is it called in Chinese. And then also, how much is this, which is and out of all of that, this is what I bought. I was able to buy a tudor, which is a potato in Chinese. An orange, which is called a juicer in Chinese. A huge apple, my favorite, ping guo. And a few bananas. This was an amazing experience and I love the fact that we got to leave the class and come outside and get to see and experience how buying and how living in China is. Right now I'm in Central University of Finance and Economics, amongst the best economic universities in China and uh, I enjoy the campus life here. Uh, my daily life right now in Beijing is quite simple. I usually spend most of my days here in campus. I just study hard. I go to the library most of the times to review some Chinese books and uh, other books that are related to my uh, major. Chinese 会说中文，可能你回国的时候，你可以找好工作，你可以找好多中国朋友。我觉得汉语同时简单，同时难学的语法很简单，学很多成语很多，故事也很多。可是我觉得世界上汉语是最有意思的语言。你觉得你回国的
the tone because if you say the wrong tone, the meaning is wrong. Everything is so fast in China, but with time, I learned how to calm down, to accept the place. Right now we're walking through the Hutong. My favorite part. Also, it's very authentically China. Yeah. You think I'm pretty? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Hey, I was really special about this place that like now in summer, everybody's here, right? And everybody's having fun. When I have time, I usually go out, maybe meet some other South Africans in Beijing. So that makes me feel not bored. We still have a small community here in Beijing of South Africans. I would definitely like to take some of what I have learned here in China and use some of that to empower people back at home, specifically in rural areas. In the future, I might be intermediary between South Africa and China, whereby trading deals or anything else that has to do with the governments of two countries. I'm actually considering to stay another year because there's just so much to see, so much to experience. I still want to travel all over the country. My achievements in China has been going to school, learning Chinese and going home and practice it. I would love to stay in China and study further. In any case, improve my Chinese even more.